Yes, this is Larry Yeager at Yeager's Harley Davidson. And um, I wanted to go over some of the charge points or the DC plug-in points on the Pan America. There's been a lot of discussion on the forums about how do you hook up your GPS, how do you charge your phone, how do you hook up your heated gear. Um, so there's, there's, you know, everybody's kind of got their own thing, their own way. I can, I'm going to show you kind of how I've done mine and, and what I've done with my bike. Now, uh, one thing I would tell you, this is my particular own uh, 2021 Pan America. Um, Harley Davidson has had some updates that has improved some of this and made changes to these points. So I would highly suggest for you to get it to your dealer, have them put the most current update in it. And that way, you know, you're as current as you can be. Um, so to start off with, what I'm going to talk about is this charge point right up here on the side of the speedometer. So at the speedometer here, I'm going to pull, unplug this. This is a USB-C port is what they call that. Okay, so that's where it plugs in. Plugs in right there. And I use this for a phone charger. If I can find the slot here, I'll be real good. There, there we go, right there. So I use this for a phone charger for, 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 for what I do. Okay, so this, this port is not live when the motorcycle is shut off. It is live when the motorcycle is running. Okay, so that's a key element there. Um, if you've got an older uh, uh, a download on your BCM, it was not live. Okay, so that was one of the updates. So that's a critical update. So like right now, I've got it plugged in. I've got it plugged into my phone. I'm gonna turn my switch on and it will pop up and you will see that it is charging. You can see the, the, the lightning bolt right there. So right now it's charging whether the, just with the ignition on. You start it, it's still gonna be charging. So this is a really good charge point, charging your phone while you're riding down the road, okay? Um, so what I've done for my, because uh, I have a separate Garmin uh, uh, Zumo XT, which I'm really happy with, and I have powered it differently, okay? So um, wh what I chose to do on mine was I powered it directly to the battery. I've heard a lot of discussion about that. Um, you know, so the negative with that is it is, I have to turn it off. Uh, you know, I gotta turn it, I gotta power it up and power it off myself. It doesn't power up and power off, off, off and on with the motorcycle. Um, but I haven't had an issue with that. I've been happy with that. It just seemed to me like it was easier to do that routing. Um, so basically the battery on this motorcycle, if you haven't figured that out, is down here underneath the front of the uh, skid pan, right down front. So uh, what I did was I put my, when I bought my Garmin Zumo, it come with all the standard mounting and I, and I put the standard mounting on there. I run the power cord right down the handlebars, right down to the frame all the way down here through the behind the radiator and directly down to the battery so it is it's fused it's hooked up directly you know and i can turn it on right here and my garmin comes on and it's and it's powered by itself okay um and it will be on and then i can I, then i have to remember to shut it off when i turn the motorcycle off if i take off i got to shut it off which for me has not been a problem so that's what i chose to do I'll show you another thing you can, another way you can power up a, a GPS if you choose uh, that, that works pretty good. I know I've seen other people on other forums that are doing this and it's working well. Um, so what uh, the other route is, I'm going to shut my GPS off. Okay, it's off. Um, take your seat off underneath of the seat. If you're not aware of it, it has a uh, battery tender plug in right here that I've already brought out so I can access my battery tender plug-in that is hardwired directly to into the into the wire loom. Now this plug-in, this DC plug-in is only live with the motorcycle shut off. As soon as you start it or turn it on, it, it is dead. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll come along with a point here in just a little while while that's kind of critical. Um, so this is live only while it's shut off. Then there is two, there is two heated gear plug-ins that are underneath the seat. Now, I apologize for the dirt underneath my seat. It is, it is a dirty mess, but that's just kind of the way I like my motorcycles anymore. Um, so both of these are heated gear plug-ins. These 
are SAE plugins, is what they call this style plugin right there. So that'd be the uh, that'd be the SAE plugin. It is live whether the motorcycle is on or off. Okay, so it's live all the time. Uh, what I have seen people do um, with their Garmin or any GPS, as far as that goes, is they take an, an SAE adapter to a DC adapter, just like that. They plug that into their heated gear plug-in, and then they will run their uh, GPS wire underneath of their fuel tank, right down the frame tube, all the way down underneath the tank, and plug it into this. And that way, they've got switched. Well, actually, I take that back. That would be hot all the time because that is hot constantly. And I got a way to test that for you. So this is a just a, a, a tire pump, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it into that. Okay, correction, correction. It is, this, this SAE plug-in is not hot while running, is, only, is, is hot while running, not hot while setting, okay? So that's where the guys are plugging them into this, that way it is switched. Okay, so let me let me make sure I'm clear on that because I, I was a little I was a little mistaken on that. So the the heated gear plugins, the SAE plugins of the seat, are not live while the machine is off. They are live while the machine is on. Okay, so that means it is controlled with switch power right through the main ignition switch. So if you hook your GPS, whichever GPS that you choose, up to that, and you route the wire back, and you plug it into this DC converter here then it will be switched power, which is a really good avenue. It's, it's not what I chose, but for some, it's worked well, okay? Um, now, to continue on, uh, I'm gonna take my tire pump that I got, I'm gonna plug it into the battery tender plug and show you how it's only live. Okay, see the light come on? That is only live when the motorcycle is shut off. I'm gonna turn the pump on right quick. Okay, so you can, you can see it's, it's, it's active, it's working. But when I turn the ignition on, light goes out, it will not, it's not live, okay? So, so that is only a, a charge plug while the vehicle is off. Now, this is where this is a critical thing. And this is another reason why I think that this this SAE DC adapter is, is really critical. And, and there may be somebody watching this video that rode with me one time and I had a flat tire on this thing and on the trail in a bad, bad place. And, uh, and this was my tire pump. This is what I had to, to bead the tire back up after we had to patch it or put an inner tube in it. And um, I was worried that or I figured out at that point, I could only plug into this while it was off. But my trouble was, was I was concerned that this pump would pull the battery down enough that it wouldn't start when it come time to start it, when I had everything all done. So that is where having the, the access to this ASAE plug converted to the DC would be handy because you can take your tire pump, plug it into here, start the motorcycle, your pump is live, your battery is charging because it's idling. So, you know, hopefully then you won't pull the battery down enough or it won't start. So it's it's kind of a little bit of a, a maze of, of items that's hot and what's not hot while the vehicle's on or not on. But uh, hopefully that was somewhat of a, of a explanation that might help you, you know, in the future. So again, the, the piece that I bought was a SAE DC adapter which is this, you can get them just about anywhere. I mean, really, I got mine from Amazon, piece of cake, it was cheap, and it's, it's, it's worked out to be a really good $10 item, really has. And, and you can hook up your, your Garmin or your GPS, however you wish. If you go directly to the battery, if you go to this, either way, um, and then your phone charge will work right off of the, the plug-in right up there when it's running. So. It's really a pretty good setup once you get it all figured out. And we can put a link in the in the um, description to that. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put a link to this SAE uh, DC adapter for you, and uh, and then we can get you one also for the the USB C 
for for the cord for the for for an Apple phone, which is what I use. But uh, we'll have that on there, and maybe that'll be helpful. I hope that helps you guys, and I hope you enjoy your Pan Americas. Thank you.